this set up better. I hit it while I was fishing play. All right, let's, ah. Sorry guys, I thought I had this set up well and turns out I was wrong. Okay, there. Hi. Um, we are here for day one of the Thomas track dance so long. So, like usual, we'll give it a few minutes for people to join in with me. So, um, I have a lot planned for this week um, with all of the different options that the track dance have, with being able to have a plain view and the zipper hem and lined and the color blocking and all of that so we have a lot to cover this week so today is just fabric uh, for me that's always the hardest part of a pattern is picking out which fabric I'm going to use um, so we'll talk about our options for um, fabric choices today and about blending sizes so yes <laughs> sorry it's it's a crazy day so Surge Fabrics is our sponsor for this sew along and she has a lot that works really, really well with this pattern, you guys. I'm, I'm excited. Thomas is super excited. He needs some pants. So like, so what you see here, this stack, these are, guys, these are my samples, my mock-ups and stuff for this week that and this one and I'm missing I don't have my lining cut for that one this and then um, I think I'm gonna use this too because it, this is not from Surge but it has a right side and wrong side so hi Crystal Crystal knows why my day is crazy um, it has a right and a wrong side so this is what I'm going to be using tomorrow for um, sewing the basic you live with you guys so we can start there cotton spandex cotton lycra is fabulous for this pattern it will give a nice loose relaxed fit uh, solids prints whatever they all look great you can use them for day wear lounge wear pajama wear whatever um, solid view you could do the color blocking with the cotton lycra also you can line them. You can use cotton lycra as a lining. You can use it solo. It's such a versatile fabric. So uh, definitely a really good option. And this is a lighter weight. This is probably a nine ounce. So you can use anything from a lightweight cotton lycra to one of the heavier 12 ounces that um, a lot of the custom groups have. <laughs> Thanks, Crystal. I made it through a test this morning. I made it through the drama coming home afterwards. So it's smooth sailing from here out. So I'm doing the fun stuff now. Uh, flannel is another great option. The flannel is great for making your mock-up, making your muslin. So fat, um, wovens and knits both work really well with this pattern. No need to size up or size down just just so <laughs> so um but flannel is a nice lining flannel is a nice lounge pant pajama pant wear them out um flannel is a really nice option you definitely want to pre-wash your flannel though because flannel can shrink same with your cotton like um on that note i pre-wash everything because factories are disgusting and um, so I do pre-wash everything, but it does take care of shrinking and all that. So this is a peach skin. Um, it's very board short fabric, same, same thing in my opinion. Um, so it's a woven, I know it's black, I'm so sorry guys, but you'll still be able to see the technique. This is that one that I was asking for opinions on and I still, I need to make that decision. Maybe that will happen today. So um, board short fabric is great. It kind of gives, you know, that swishy, can you hear it? That um, we call them swishy pants in our house, the athletic pants, they're kind of like nylon-ish. Board short fabric is really great for that peach skin, um, that sort of thing. Okay, 
now my favorites. These are all from Surge. Um, oh, I did have piping in this pile. Okay, that's stains. Okay, that goes there. Okay. All right, this is the Ponte, you guys. It's, it's like incredible. Let me get, this is a double. So there, you can see the drape. It's a beautiful drape. It's soft. It has a ton of stretch. I don't know what, I didn't measure it. So one, two, three, four. It's just over 50% stretch vertical. And then I would say 60-ish horizontal. Um, doing it quickly. I could be wrong. Um, Kayla may may come in and correct me. But it's stretchy and it has great recovery. If your kid blows through the knees of pants, a lot of what causes that is the fabric not being allowed to stretch. So um, this would stretch over the knees. It's I would not call this lightweight, more medium weight. So it still might um, have, to, you know, just like I wouldn't crawl on gravel and <laughs> but you never know what kids do. But I would, this would stand up beautifully. If you're new to sewing knits, this is awesome. Um, it doesn't curl. Um, when you cut it, it's not slinky, it stays in place. It does have a right side and wrong side, but if you get them mixed up, it's not too big of a deal. But so, where'd that take? Okay, just one second. All right, so most of these fabrics, it's hard to differentiate the right and wrong side. So for the tutorials like here, and what you can do at home if you have a hard time keeping track, because it can be tricky, you can put tape um, on the wrong side of your piece and keep track of it that way so when you cut out then everything's the same and then you don't have to watch which side is which but this ponte is amazing this is the heathered gray ponte and this is the charcoal and i love them very much <laughs> i have okay this this is i have a lot in ponte so there it is, prep for the color blocking. So Thomas is a size 10 with a 26 inch inseam. And we just moved out of being able to get a pair of pants out of yard of fabric. So I had to order two yards of everything. But out of the two yards of the two different color ponties that I ordered, I was able to get a solid pair out of each of them and one color block pair using the scraps so it's still even when you start to get into the bigger sizes it's still definitely can be a very economical project okay that goes there this is awesome sauce this is some under armor fabric but it's brushed can you see there we go and it's so soft this this side is smooth and so if you put them like that you can kind of sort of see them it it shows if it's in real life but it's kind of harder to see on video it's soft it's crazy stretchy i think it's wicking if i remember correctly yeah this is for pocket day so um yeah it's He's excited for these, you guys. This, any of the athletic fabrics are going to be great. Um, oh, that's what this is. So this is a heavier weight. I think it was 280 grams. Brushed, is it brushed? Yeah, it's brushed athletic fabric and super stretchy. I don't have the, these ones cut yet. I need to cut these still. Um, super stretchy super soft again great weight they're going to keep him warm but not overheat him and thomas gets hot really easily um so yeah any of the athletic fabrics on her site are awesome for this 
I've seen pairs done in um, like a lightweight denim. You can do that. She has uh, she has some chambers, I believe. I was looking at and debating on buying some of that too. But um, those all work great. Micro fleece is wonderful, and regular fleece is great too. I like micro fleece over like polar fleece or blizzard fleece if you're going with Joanne's brands because the micro fleece has more stretch to it and it's not as bulky but it's still really warm and um, so it's lighter weight but it's still really warm and soft so I'm a big fan of micro fleece so um, any cotton woven like the traditional quilters cottons are great the car cars and trucks pants that I posted in the group last week I think it was, my days are running together and it's only Monday. Those are cotton woven. That works beautifully. And we went over lightweight denim. I have some sweatshirt fleece that I'm going to make, not during this sew along, but he's going to have some of those this season. So yeah, there's really Ponte. Um, if your child likes Liverpool, that would work. Um, I the brushed polys, I think that they would work. Um, they would be really drapey um, and loose, but those would those would be really nice. Um, if your child overheats, maybe not. I don't know, Thomas gets hot, so I'm always keeping that in mind. But yeah, if you have a question about a fabric and you wanna know if it will work, just post um, in the event group and tag me. I'm more than happy to answer questions. Um, this waffle knit is all the rage, rage right now and I think waffle knit in the basic view would make an amazing pair of pajama pants like I want some for me I think I'm gonna mimic that with some Allegro's <laughs> so um, that would be a good choice also so now yeah, pretty much any fabric um, would work I think Boom. okay fabrics so Elastic. It is a thick waistband for these. And I did that, one, because I like the look. I think it adds to a more athletic look. I think it looks more day wear than a one inch elastic. I ordered this off of Amazon. It actually, it came with two of them. I don't remember how much it was, but it wasn't, it wasn't crazy. And it's gonna, I think it was 22 yards of elastic. Um, but you can just search two inch elastic on Amazon. Wallwack has it also um, available. It goes in and out of stock to me, like whenever I'm looking. So sometimes they'll have white or sometimes they had black. They had black when I needed to order this, but they didn't have white, but I wanted the white. So two inch elastic. I do have a hack this week that will show you how to use one inch elastic. So that is an option if that's all you have on hand. Uh, I like the one inch hack for pajama pants because you don't need all of that stability because they're just sleeping and lounging. Um, these are an athletic pant. They're designed to be able to run around like a crazy fool, and not have your pants fall off your hips. So um, one inch elastic and then we attach it in a fun way so that it doesn't twist and it doesn't get all bulky or anything. So um, pick some of that up. Also, I believe Joann's has some uh, local stores like that, so that might be an option also. But Amazon two-day shipping. Zippers are something that you need. I like the nylon zippers um, for a couple reasons. The metal ones are heavy. And so then you have that pulling on your hem and also the these are lighter weight and so like when you cross your ankles and stuff like that it doesn't put that pressure on your ankle bone so I like the nylons you want the traditional like separating zipper that has the closed bottom if you don't have ones with the closed bottom like you have the two-part ones you can still use it like that's fine we'll close the end up but you just want a traditional separating zipper with the closed bottom nylon this is a 
size five, I think. So size three is kind of tiny. So I believe the size five, but it's just, you can order these online. I put a site um, from Etsy on the blog. I've used them several times. It's a great price. It's a lot cheaper than going to Joann's. Um, my quilt shop actually has zippers. Like, they don't have any apparel fabric, but they have zippers, and they're 14 to 18 inches long, and they're only $1.29 a piece. So, <laughs> I go to a local quilt shop for zippers. It's a good price. Another thing that we can use with this pattern is piping. So, I like piping for adding details to outfits, um, especially like, I feel like boys, traditional boys clothes, it's harder to add those details because traditionally ruffles and all of that stuff are, you don't see them on traditional boy clothes. So I still like to do those fun touches and fun details and elements. And so I love piping and my girls love piping too. And it just, it's really easy to sew. I do recommend a zipper foot, but all it is is bias tape that has a cording in it. And so you just sew it in. So there's, I think I put a video in the tutorial. I need to double check that. If there's not, then I'm going to do one that's on my to-do list. Um, for the sew along. So piping is a fun detail that you can add and you can do that to either view the plain view or the color block view. Um, da, 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 da. We did zippers, we did elastic, we did piping. Um, blending sizes. I forgot to write down what I need to talk about. So, and I feel like I'm talking really fast today. So I do apologize. Um, Blending sizes, if you're new to blending sizes, this is a pretty good introduction because it's not, it's not a lot of lines. Stick with the basic view if you're new. You can definitely blend sizes for the color block view. And if you need help, just tag me, post in the group. If I'm not available, I know we have so many helpful people. But, so here I have two sizes. So I forgot to print off my size my demo for this so I just drew in a line so we have size one and size two and if we needed to blend out so say we need more width and less height so we've got short little legs or um, you know nice little toddler belly or your kid grows out and then up whatever whatever reason that you need to add some width your kid likes extra ease there's so many reasons um, you would not want to change the rise so you would want to stick with this so we're starting with the hip measurement and the hip measurement says that you need this wider size but your height says that you need the shorter size so you would cut Oh, it didn't work over the masking tape. I got robbed. All right. You would cut the lower rise and then extend over to the width that you need. And I would use that curve. And then you would take it down again with the width that you need. And then when you get to the bottom, you would cut across the shorter hem. And then they all have a shared side seam. So then back up there. So that is how you would add width. Or shorten, whichever perspective you wanna look at it at. Um, same thing. Um, my kid is long. So I have to do this to like every pattern he needs not only length in the leg, 
but he needs it in the rise also. It's like from his high hip, waist area, down, somebody just stretched him. And I am clearly not that. I have to blend like this. I need the width. So um, for adding the height, but keeping the smaller width, it would look like this. You would keep along this inside size, the smaller size, but then you would carry it up to the rise that you need. And then you would stay on this inside and then just extend down to the length that you need. So that's how you would blend your sizes for needing more length in both the rise and here. So if your kit is just all leg and you don't need that extra rise, you can either just extend off the bottom, just put the ruler there, there's a picture on the blog, or you can cut across the pattern, add your width, and then blend your side seams also. If you have a child that's in cloth diapers and you need extra um, length in the rise, that's pretty common, this is what you would do. You would just blend up. You would actually, for cloth diapers, you would probably want this outer one and then you would want the rise also. But then you could blend into the skinny leg. Like, so lots of reasons to blend sizes. And that's what makes sewing nice because then they can have clothes that fit. So um, I know my kids appreciate that. I appreciate that. So. There's not much off the rack that fits me properly, so being able to make the adjustments like this really helps. Um, Thomas plays baseball, and his baseball pants, to get the length that he needs, there's six inches of too much fabric in the waist. So um, he has a sports belt, but he's still pulling them up and adjusting them. And I know he won't have to do that with his track pants that I make him because they will be made for my no butt no hip kid so um yeah i think that's all we have today do you guys have any questions for me about fabric choices or sizing blending or our fun options with uh, piping you know it would be cute to add a ruffle down that side seam man my niece doesn't do ruffles but i would be tempted to do that that would be a fun a fun addition also I cannot add that to the blog like <laughs> as I'm throwing ideas out there I can't show you how I can talk you through it <laughs> but um that'd be a fun pattern to have little ruffles down the legs like that so um yeah tomorrow I will sew up a basic view from start to finish so the whole thing and I do have a video on the blog that um shows how to do that for tomorrow so that will be available for you you are very welcome patsy so i will go over the waistband the elastic just how to sew a pair of pants if you've never sewn a pair of pants this is it this is a great sew along for you and then um throughout the week we'll work on more of the details like the zippers the pockets are different than traditional pockets, traditional inseam pockets. Um, so I do have a video for that. And we'll go over the zippers. The lining has a video in the tutorial, or doing the lining with the zipper pockets. So yeah, that's our week that we have planned. And then I have a hack, because remember I told you that one yard doesn't work. I have a hack for um, how to make one yard work. <laughs> So, um, I couldn't, I couldn't shelf this beautiful green, look, you can see it right there, that we've, I've color blocked the leg. So, um, I couldn't, I couldn't not sew that up. I was, 
after he outgrew that length, I thought I was going to sew it with a hoodie, but he has so many hoodies, so I'm very happy I went with pants for it. So, um, time tomorrow for the live, I don't know, <laughs> I have to look at my calendar. So, um, and we'll get that sorted out, we'll get a time pick for that. I know Wednesday we will be 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's one that I have for sure down. So, okay, um, post your fabrics that you're going to use. I really want to see them if you post them in the event group. Um, let me know if you have any questions, and tomorrow we start sewing. So, thank you very much, everybody, and I can't wait to see what you create.